See, let's discuss about flow shapes, sub process shape, split join, split for edge. See, if you want to call a flow from another flow, what is the flow shape you use? Sub process shape. Other than sub process shape, this is what we have already used. Other than sub process shape, we have other flow shapes called advanced shapes, split join. The other one is split for each. Now go to sub process shape. Here you can call okay process flow or screen flow something you can call okay see what is the default execution process when you call a flow from another flow the execution will be like this so process flow will be executed when it goes to sub flow when it comes to sub flow control will go to sub flow see now till the time you complete the sub flow requester complete sub flow you cannot proceed in process flow that is not possible you cannot work on process flow want to see this look at here so this is how it was designed right before so this is the workflow that we have let me remove these flow shapes so we are going to understand now the concept of spin off so I'm going to run this. So this is okay. Let me show you with a subflow making it sense. Screen flow doesn't have that I uh, links. It will not display. Hang on. I'll do one thing quickly. I'll create a process flow. Otherwise, I'll redesign this or something. Okay, I'll create a process flow. I'll create a subflow here. I'm creating a subflow first and here you go this one I'm going to say this one is um, address just simply I'm taking address is a subflow now I'm going to use this as a subflow and in the parent case here assignment 1 sub process assignment 2 assignment 1 I'm going to use customer form so sub process I am going to call sub flow simply for your understanding and this assignment I am going to call transaction details suppose. So we have customer details, address details and transaction details like that uh, like uh, this is how it is available now. Okay. So draft turn off process tab creates a new work object. I am going to do this. Save this now. Okay. So if I run this process flow, look at here. If I run the process flow, first screen is customer form. That is what I have given. So after this customer form, sub flow should be executed, sub process shape. Control went to sub process, right? See, you have a link to access sub process. Do you have any other link to access process flow? So without completing this subflow, can you proceed to process flow next assignment? Not possible. I have to complete this. Then it will be released to the process flow. So this way of execution is called synchronous processing means process flow is waiting when the subflow is getting executed. There is no link available for process flow to execute. When subflow is being involved, process flow is waiting. Further it is not, you are not able to proceed forward. Okay, you are not allowed to proceed forward. It doesn't mean not real, able. Not allowed to proceed forward. This is synchronous way of execution. Synchronous means waiting for the acknowledgement. Process flow will wait till the subflow completes. This is the default behavior in the subflow sub process shape. Okay, now I am going to make changes in my sub process shape. Look at here. What is the change that I am going to put here? Is there is an option called spin off flow. I am selecting this submit and save. I have selected spin off option on sub process shape. Now I am going to run this. Look at the difference.
submit this so now you are at what flow sub flow when you are on sub flow hey, why it is not coming i'm sorry i didn't say what i have spin off option check in this okay for better understanding i am going to remove my perform harness for better understanding i am going to delete the perform harness because i want to show you with default harness there is something i might have removed related to the second link let me check that come on it is there in version 3 as well i am going to delete this instead of delete i can do it like uh, availability also i can change but still i am going to delete it okay i'll change the availability check out better i'll change the availability so, come on so it is in what dash i do not want to pick it from here i am going to make it withdraw has it been checked out i am with, i have withdrawn it so it will not be picked from current class it will be picked from parent class check done so now i'll show you i am now selected spin off option so previously when the spin off was not there so you are not able to proceed forward you are not allowed to proceed forward actually it's not able to you are not allowed to proceed forward so now you are at sub process shape now it is taking you to sub process shape see now this is the flow what is this link this is for process flow can i open process flow assignment so now tell me am i able to work on simultaneously i am trying to open this okay look at here i am going to cancel this go to work class what is the work out so this is the this i have cancelled now i am opening process flow this is what process flow right we have transaction details process flow i am able to open sub flow but you remember you cannot work on simultaneously parallel processing is not there suppose you take two operators operator 1 open sub process op, sub process assignment operator 2 cannot open process process flow assignment that is not that is not parallel processing when you are on sub flow now without completing the sub flow i have not yet completed sub flow i am trying to work on parent uh, parent flow that is what process flow did i complete process flow now <laughs> completed or not sub flow is still available this way of processing is called asynchronous processing process flow is now not waiting for the sub flow to get completed without the completing sub flow itself i have been provided with the provision to access the process flow and proceed forward so now going back again i am going to change this option i am going to uncheck spin off submit and then save run the flow and test it see now do you have any provision for process flow accessing this is default behavior so default behavior is in a sub process shape is without completing the sub process process flow cannot proceed forward this is synchronous mode of execution so in a sub when you select the spin off option on sub process shape that makes the process flow to be asynchronous mode of execution to have asynchronous mode of meaning that process flow will not wait for the sub flow to get completed you can work on process flow without working on sub flow but remember one thing this is not parallel processing in pega this is not real time parallel processing this is asynchronous processing meaning that when operator 1 is working on sub process assignment operator 2 cannot work on parent parent case i mean say process flows assignment simultaneously cannot work on 
but without touching the subflow, process flow can be proceeded forward. Asynchronous mode. That is what spin off. This is clear, everyone. This is about spin off. Let's discuss now about split join and split for each. There are two other flow shapes available in the advanced shape called split join and split for each. I am not going to show you this practically now. Okay, let me talk about this first. Split join. If you open split join, look at here, you have an option to specify a flow rule to run. You can call a subflow or screen flow. Similarly, one more is there. You can call a subflow or screen flow. Add another flow. Call a subflow or screen flow. You can call here. Okay. Like this, you can add. Okay, I'm not pretty much sure about maximum number here, but the situation is you want to call multiple subflows at a time. At a time, I want to call multiple subflows. Is it possible with subprocess shape? No. So it is possible only with split join shape. Split join. What does that mean? What is the tool that you can remember for the split join? In your kitchen, what tool you will find for split join? You reverse a fork. Split and join. If you reverse a fork, fork will have multiple inputs and final output. Right? So now, split join, you can use to call multiple subflows where all this together will be finally proceeded to a process flow. See, there are different options. Default behavior is join all. Means, once all these subflows complete, then process flow can be resumed. This is clear? So you have another option called join any, meaning that any one of the subflows successfully completes, you will get that link to proceed forward in process flow. This is partial asynchronous. By default, it is join all synchronous. This is partial asynchronous. Now, join some based on condition. When condition? On when some condition is met. Suppose any one of the subflow completes where the condition is met. Suppose I have completed, I have given a condition. Subflow 1 completed, condition not met. Process flow cannot be resumed. Subflow 2 completed, condition has met. Still 8 are open. 10 I have called, suppose. Process flow can be resumed. In case of join any, there is no condition. One subflow you complete successfully, it will proceed forward. So join any means whenever there is any subflow that you complete, any one of the subflow completes, process flow can be resumed. Join sum means any one of the subflow completes, given a condition satisfied, process flow can be resumed. The default behavior is join all. When all the subflows completes, process flow can be resumed. This is the use of split join. Clear? So split for each is the flow shape. Look at here. So what do you mean by for each? Where did we see this for each before? In an activity, we have used for each embedded page. What does that mean? For each embedded page in an activity. So in the step page, you will pass a page list. When you pass a page list, for each embedded page in the page list, what is it going to do? It is going to loop. It is going to execute that step in a loop for each embedded page in the page list. That is what we have worked in activity. Activity you have looping mechanism, right? Similarly, in the flow also, you have looping mechanism available by using split for each flow shape. So where in which split for each flow shape is used to call one subflow, only one. But this subflow I want to execute multiple times in a loop. So it will ask you a page list property to be passed, some page list property. And the class of page property. So now this page list property, by the time you call this subflow, you should have this page list property populated and available. Suppose this page list property has 10 pages, then this subflow will be executed how many times? 10 times. This page list has 5 pages, then subflow will be executed. So single flow, you are going to call using split for each, but where you are going to pass page list as a parameter. Now, this subflow will be executed in a loop for multiple times, n number of times, where n is equal to number of pages in the page list. Again, here, n instances of the same flow will be created. 
so here also again join all join some will be applicable join all means all the instances of five times five instances five instances should be completed so join any means any one of the instance completes process flow can be resumed join some you know now iterate so when you select iterate look at here you have a conditional condition to exit the iteration when the condition is met it will exit out of the iteration okay immediately and exits out that is what iterate means okay so this is about split join and split for each split join flow shape is used to call multiple subflows whereas split for each is used to call a single subflow split join executes multiple subflows there are options like join all any sum all means all the subflows completes process flow can be resumed any means any one of the subflow completes process flow can be resumed sum means any one of the subflow completes given a condition met process flow can be resumed split for each means split for each is going to call one subflow where you are going to pass the page list parameter this sub process will be executed n number of times in the loop where n is equal to number of pages in the page list so now this sub process will be executed for page list times again you have n instances will be created of the same assignment previously it is different different split join so now here also options join all some available join all means all instances completes process flow will be resumed any means any one of the instance some means some of the instance given a condition iterate means to exit iteration based on a condition you can give okay this is how split for each works